Okay, so hello to you, my name is Vlad and what I have in front of me is uh, this old LCD and it is not turning on. Now, the problem with such devices is usually the faulty capacitor. Sometimes it will turn on, sometimes it won't. So, as you can see, it just turns on and uh, it actually just disappears. No, it's turning on, as you see. Sometimes it's, it turns on and sometimes it doesn't. And usually it is the either faulty capacitor or the power supply that supplies electricity to the uh, panel or the panel itself. So let's open it and uh, let's see how difficult this thing is to repair. Now, again, as I stated, uh, this is a problem with most of older LCDs. So, usually this thing requires a bit of a force. So, we have successfully removed the front plate. And here, it's holding the LCD. So, I think I can just use my yeah, fingers to remove this thing. It is not easy. Well, I don't need to remove this thing. This okay. And basically it's that easy to open well, most of LCDs anyway. Now there are a couple of screws holding the Intel electronics. And as I have said before, this thing, this thing can be either due to a couple of things. Now if this thing is due to anything but capacitor, I won't be repairing it. Because it's just, it's just not worth it the money, and since I'm actually doing this thing for free it's, uh, well, it's worth even less but I do have a, a stash of LCDs somewhere which I have repaired but was unable to sell and uh, uh, we'll just give the guy another LCD well, as you can see right away, let me show you the problem. Okay, first of all, I need to remove this thing, and I really don't know how. As you can see, this is the problem, and this is the single capacitor that is fucking everything up. So I will be replacing this thing, and that's the uh, well solution to the entire problem. Seriously. So yeah, let's replace the capacitor. Now, in general, you can. Uh, probably replace all of the capacitors, but uh, I am kind of person that does not fix the stuff that's working, so so the red one is closer to the uh, that side, so I can remove the LCD as well. And there are a couple of screws holding this motherboard. Let me just turn on my soldering iron. I do need to see the value of the capacitor. Now, for example, if the capacitor is, let's say, 800 and you have a thousand, in theory you can put it and uh, there will be no significant difference whatsoever. However, if you have two thousands, then no. Okay. Now, as I have said, this is a 600. This one is, as you can see, 680 microfarads and 25 volts, so I will be replacing this thing. Now, when replacing the capacitor, always observe polarity because they will explode if you fail. Trust me, I've learned that the hard way. So let me go and get the uh, good one. So as you can see, I have a couple of capacitors. So 680, 25. Now the voltage can be different because uh, the voltage is actually 
If you, for example, place a 16, it will explode instead of 25. But if you place 50, it won't matter. So, I have 680, 35, which is uh, good. In fact, it's even better than the original one. Um, the only problem is this one is a bit fatter, I would say, but it's not a big deal. So, here is the uh, where old capacitor has been. This soldering wick is amazing stuff. And as you can see, this uh, little black line actually stands for minus, but sometimes it can stand for plus, so always observe polarity. And better than the original. And basically this was uh, the entire repair, seriously. Now why would you want to buy a new LCD if you uh, if you can repair the old one? And now uh, the single capacitor is uh, 50 cents, so this is the repair that actually costs 50 cents. Maybe even less, I'm not quite sure though. Now I need to put everything back together. And I just got something off of eBay. And as I have said before, the red one is closer to the side. So always observe that. And I can basically test this thing to see whether this thing will turn on or not. But I do believe it will. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me turn it on. You know, press the button. I think it's this one. Is it this one? This is the menu. This one is power. And the LED did turn on, and the LCD should turn on. And there you have it. As I said, this is the uh, simplest repair there is. And uh, well worth the money. So, let's test it one more time, and the owner can uh, take this thing off. So, yeah, freedom of mind. There you go, it's already on. Whatever that means, freedom of mind. Connect the cable. There you have it. It's working. Awesome.